New at six, some families in northern Minnesota will spend the holiday weekend trying to find new living arrangements for their loved ones. A worker shortage at a senior living apartment in Pine River means elderly residents won't have the supervision they once did. As WCCL's Liz Collin found, it is an example of how severe staffing shortages in long-term care have left, have left older Minnesotans in limbo. I did not want to move. I love it here. After spending the last five years at Riverside Senior Living in Pine River, Pat Gordon has no choice but to pack up and leave. The seniors are being kicked to the curb. Come December 1st, the assisted living services the 78-year-old needs for her emphysema and memory issues will end. When around-the-clock care dwindles to two people on site during weekdays only for the 28 residents who call this home. If they put food on the stove and forget it, we're going to have a fire. There's no one here to help us. People were given 30 days notice of the change. In a statement, Good Samaritan Society says the pandemic has put unprecedented stress on the senior care industry and that, quote, for those who wish to move, we are committed to ensuring a smooth transition and have resources available to help residents find new homes and care. The executive director points to assisted living rooms available at its other campus across the river. But the group we talked to didn't want the medical setting that goes along with it. It started very slowly. And all of a sudden, people weren't showing up to work. Dolores Zasky noticed the staffing struggles through COVID. The 89-year-old feels fortunate she doesn't need the assisted living piece at this point and plans to stay as long as possible, frustrated for her friends who don't have that option. We're, we don't have a voice. In Pine River, Liz Collin, WCCO 4 News. There are currently 23,000 job openings at senior living organizations throughout Minnesota. That is about 20% of the industry.